We've seen a large number of different small arms being transferred to Ukraine, and the variety of 5.56 by 45 chambered rifles is especially interesting. This is the first in a series of videos examining the variety of different 5.56 rifles which have been seen in the field. These range from US M4A1s through to FN F2000s and almost everything in between. We're starting the series examining the use of Colt Canada produced rifles and carbines. We first began to see Colt Canada C7 rifles appearing in the hands of Ukrainian personnel in May. They have continued to be seen in the hands of units including the Belarusian Kalinowski Volunteer Regiment and a number of other Ukrainian International Legion units. Most recently one was seen in footage of Ukrainian Special Operations Forces during their landing on the Kinburn Spit. Dymaco were bought out and renamed Colt Canada in 2005, but the company had originally began producing the C7 in 1982. These were derived from the US M16A1E1 program, which led to the development and adoption of the M16A2 in the US. The C7 differs from the M16A2 in that it retains semi and fully automatic fire modes rather than the A2's three round burst. Versions seen in use in Ukraine are C7A1s, which replaced the fixed carrying handle with a modified weaver rail for mounting optics. The primary users of the C7A1 are Canada, who have since moved to the C7A2, Denmark, who have issued the C7A1 as the M95, and the Netherlands, who adopted the C7A1 in the early 1990s. They've since updated their rifles and carbines, to the C7 and C8 NLD standard. I reached out to the Dutch, Canadian and Danish ministries of defence, and while the Dutch and Danish ministries declined to comment, the Canadian Ministry of National Defence responded to confirm that Canada has not, to date, provided any C7 pattern rifles. Instead, the Canadian spokesperson confirmed that Canada has provided an unspecified number of C8 carbines. Another indicator of this is that some of the photographs out of Ukraine show the original Damaco stylized D-roll mark on the magazine housing. Canadian C7A1s have the D-roll mark above the trigger, with a larger Canadian maple leaf engraving on the magazine housing. Sources state that Colt Canada refitted most of Canada's C7A1s into the C7A2 configuration with the collapsing buttstock. This means the C7A1 rifles seen in Ukraine were likely provided by either the Netherlands or Denmark. The Netherlands adopted the C7A1 and fielded it with the Elkan Spectre OS 3.4, known in Canadian service as the C79. Interestingly, there's also been a couple of sightings of 6-power Elkan HIMAGs fitted to C7A1 rifles. The HIMAG was adopted by the Dutch military as a machine gun optic, so far, I've not been able to find any mention of the Danish armed forces using the HIMAG. If you have any insight into this, let me know. This supports the theory that at least some of the rifles came from a transfer from the Netherlands. The numerous C7A1s have been seen fitted with a mix of Elkan 79s, aimpoint comps and various reflex sights, and some with the original Damaco Colt Canada rear iron sights as well. Some have already been painted up in some pretty interesting paint schemes, and fitted with suppressors. The C8 seen in use in the field may be from Canada, but it's also possible they might have been provided by Denmark or the Netherlands. The first appearances of C8s in videos shared to social media that I could find date to September, but they've likely been in use prior to this. This piece of combat footage, which was shared on social media around the 19th of September, is especially interesting as we see C8 carbines with Elkan Spectres, and at least one is also running a red dot and magnifier setup. We can also see the triad rail mounts, which are attached around the front sight base. This may indicate the carbines are C8A3s, but it's difficult to make out the other defining features of the A3. The triad was developed to allow the attachment of accessories. In this case, most of the guys appear to have fitted vertical front grips. An individual on the Kherson front also shared numerous images and videos featuring his personal weapon, a C8 with a suppressor and what appears to be a more modern Elkan Spectre. The individual also shared some footage of himself and others running some contact drills. 
While the footage is fairly low resolution, it appears to show three CA carbines and one FN Minimi para. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already. If you found this video interesting, please do share it with friends. You can support the project over on Patreon where you can get early access to all of our videos and some cool perks as well. Another avenue I think we also have available now is YouTube memberships. Do check out the playlist covering all of our content looking at the war in Ukraine and we'll have more from this series looking at 5.56 rifles in the future. Thanks again for watching, catch you next time.